Hey guys, Jody. Hey, uh, just wanted to do a special unboxing. Um, I feel like I'm 13, 14, 15 years old again. Um, I was up at the hobby shop last week and had to go up and get some other stuff and there was a grasshopper sitting up there on the shelf. And they didn't have much else up there to buy. That's dang sure they're about sold out of everything. But <clears throat> this car started it all back when I was 14, 15, somewhere around there. And uh, so I just, I knew I had to get one. I've been wanting one with all this other stuff I've had. And I just, I wanted to go back to my roots and, you know, the first car mom ever bought me. And, uh, but I've been waiting because when I got it, they didn't have any of the parts that I needed to hop it up. Um, because if any of you have ever had a hornet or a grasshopper or a frog, you know right from the beginning that you have to put bearings in it. Do not use the plastic bushings. Always buy a bearing kit, especially in the gearbox, the wheels. You know, if you're going to build it, build it right from the beginning. And so I wanted to get those, but I had to get these parts from a main hobbies. There's the 18 tooth pinion gear, 1819 actually. And then the little 380 motor in that thing, you know, I can walk faster than that. So I wanted to get the silver can that we used to run in them, you know, as a kid. Like I said, this ain't a race car, but it's just a lot of fun to run. But anyway, um, so yeah, the old grasshopper. Um, like I said, I had so much time running one of these when I was younger. And, you know, it, there again, I mean, most of us, you know, built plastic models and things like that growing up. And, you know, so it was pretty easy to, you know, jump into these kind of kits and to uh, build it. Because, you know, I already had a lot of, you know, plastic car experience you know, plastic airplane experience, everything like that. Now, they say that when you lift the box off that it's got a certain kind of smell. And it's been so long since I've done this, so I'll just have to see. Um, it's hard to do with the phone. Come on. I really need to get my filming options better somehow. All right. And there she is. Oh, man. I've waited forever to see one of these again. There's the body and the chassis. Yeah, kind of just have a, kind of a new car smell. There's <laughs> suspension parts. The tires. Man, I'm just totally loving this. The Nerf bars, driver figure, which I've you know, some kind of really cool looking helmet since, you know, more, my business used to be a helmet painting business. Uh, electronic speed control, which is new. Mine never had that. Uh, your tire and wheel combo. And your diff uh, housing. And some other rear end parts, your uh, stuff in the back. Very cool. All right. And paperwork and antenna tube. And the good old Tamiya manuals. I just love the way the Tamiya manuals, you know, they, they were so easy to work on these cars and to build them. It was just really neat back then. And, of course, the famous grasshopper stickers, which are not what they used to be originally, but, they're, I mean, they're close, but there's a few things that are different, um, but still close enough for what I want. And then there's, of course, tape on this. I figure it's got tape on everything, don't they? And there's the box of goodies. Uh, you got your little 380 motor, which like I said, I'm not going to use. 
um, your front springs, some tie rod ends, front axles, some gears, the front bumper for the grasshopper. It's always been kind of iconic looking. Um, there's metal part, metal uh, tie rods, and the axles, and your nut driver. And then this bag, which, this bag, I'll just throw it in the junk because all it is is the bushings, which I'm not using any of them because um, that's what I bought the bearings for. I will not use those. Then here are all of your gears for in the gearbox. And some miscellaneous metal parts. Uh, bag D. Oh, yeah, that's the cool, cool thing is how they have all this stuff marked. What bag and the length and everything, so there's no messing it up, you know. Um, Tamayo was always great with that. There's uh, bag C and bag A. Very cool. Yeah, guys, so I, like I said, I feel like I'm kid again I mean I'm, I'm just so happy to have possession of a grasshopper again I mean it's it's just unreal um so like I said I mean I'm, I just want it more for just something to just go out and just drive around just have some fun with you know I mean like I used to back when I was a kid I mean like I said I never raced this thing because it wasn't very raceable first actual race car was a frog and it competed okay but that was also at the time the rc10s were coming out so you know i went ahead and uh eventually moved up to well i got a hot shot four-wheel drive and i ran the four-wheel drive class against the yokomos and all that back when they had the spring or the chain driven four-wheel drive and the hot shot actually competed pretty decent with them and then uh Eventually, I got my RC-10, but, um, but I've always had such a soft spot for this car, and I just, I've been wanting to get one for the last few years, and it was finally time to pull the plug on it, and not to mention, now I got, you know, box art that I can put up on the wall, along with, you know, a lot of the other stuff that is up there that I'm working on uh, expanding out, so... But I got several other boxes. Box from my Gen 8 Scout. We gotta get that cut up and Grasshopper and my DR ten. So yeah, I got got more I gotta get cut up. But anyway guys, yeah, I just wanted to touch base and uh just show you guys what I got. Like I said, this you know, out of all the cars I've got, RC airplanes, everything. Um, nothing, I don't think, has the meaning that this car has. I mean, other than the B-17 Flying Fortress that I've got six foot, you know, it's painted up as my dad's. But other than that, I mean, there's nothing else that, you know, has a meaning as what getting this car was. Because like I said, my mom, you know, made sure I, you know, was trying to stay out of trouble and... She got me going with it and then progressed into more. So now it's crazy <laughs> starting to, starting to get them all over again. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks and uh, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and uh, hope you're all staying safe out there. And uh, I'll do a build video on this more than likely. Um, you know, or at least the highlights of the build, you know, things like that. Because, um, I mean, it's a pretty simple, straightforward build. Um, but anyway, thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.